Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Animalia part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now look at the last category that is mammals. So what all comes under this category of mammals? Everything that is very very known to us like human beings, animals like cat, rat, monkeys, whales, everything comes under mammals. So basically mammals are those organisms which can give birth to their young ones. Scales are absent here on the skin. There are no scales. Instead, hairs, sweat glands and oil glands are present on skin. So these are some of the now whatever traits I talk about, you will be able to match it with yourself because all these things are present on our body as well because even we fall under the category of mammals. Respiration happens through lungs. They are warm-blooded. That is, we can actually control the temperature or regulate the temperature inside our body. Four chambered heart. Reproduction mostly give birth to young ones. However, there are a few exceptions to it which lay eggs. But other than that, all others give birth to their young ones. Mammary gland is present for milk production to feed the young ones. So the presence of this mammary gland is something which is very unique to this class mammalia. And that is from where they get this name mammals. That is why it is mammary gland and they are mammals. So even in human beings, you would have seen that when a female gives birth to a young ones, after that, they they get milk produced in their best breasts and th that breast milk is being fed to the young ones. So this is due to the presence of mammary glands inside the body, which help in production of milk. Examples of mammals would include lion, tiger, rabbit, rat, cat, whales, dog, human beings. So they all fall under the category of mammals. If you talk about the reproduction in mammals, here also the sexes are separate. We have distinct male and female sexes. Fertilization is internal, that is the fusion happens inside the body, mostly viviparous, that is they give birth to young ones. Some exceptions are there and one example is platypus, the one which you can see in the picture. Development is direct, so there is no larval stage involved. The zygote is formed inside the body and when the baby is born, it is just an, a, it is a human being which, which gradually keeps growing. So there is no larval stage or no intermediate stage involved. Okay, so with this we have reached towards the end of the lesson. So we have actually covered all the different phylum which comes which falls under the kingdom animalia so now we will have a quick review of whatever we have studied so far so in this tabular form we will quickly have a comparison of the 10 phyla which we discussed in this lesson so we will start with this level of organization so how the level of organization changes in different phyla so if we talk about porifera, it has a cellular level of organization. In cylindrata, they have tissue level of organization. Platyhelminths, that is the flat worms, they have organ level of organization. Nematodes, they have organ system level of organization. And they are after all the phyla have organ system level of organization. Talking about symmetry, for porifera, it has asymmetry. That is, there is no symmetry present at all, except for a few exceptions. In cylindrates, they have radial symmetry. Platyhelminths, they have bilateral symmetry. Nematodes, again, they have bilateral. Annelids also bilateral. Arthropods bilateral. Mollusks bilateral. Again, in echinoderms, we see that they have bilateral symmetry in their larval stage, but the adults have radial symmetry. Hemichordata, again, they have bilateral symmetry. Chordata is again bilateral. Next comes the coelom. Porifera are acelomates, that is, coelom is absent. In cylindrate, also, the coelom is absent. In platyhelminths, the coelom is absent again. Nematodes are pseudocelomates, that is a false coelom is present. In annelids, coelom is present and thereafter everywhere coelom is present. 
Next is segmentation. Now segmentation is absent almost everywhere. So it is absent in Porifera, cylindrate, platy helminths, nematodes. So annelid is where the one where segmentation was seen for the first time. So it is present in annelids. It is also seen in arthropods, but then again it is absent in all others. Then again we have digestive system. In Porifera, the digestive system is absent because there are no organs, no organ systems. In cylindrates, digestive system is present but it is incomplete. Platyhelminths again it is incomplete. Nematodes have a complete digestive system and thereafter all the phyla have a complete digestive system. Similarly for circulatory system also, it is absent in Porifera. It is absent in cylindrates, platyhelminths as well and also it was seen for the first time in annelids and thereafter it was seen in all the other higher phyla. Similarly, respiratory system was also absent in Porifera, cylindrates, platyhelminths and nematodes but it was seen for the first time in annelids and then it was present thereafter. Now some of the special features in each of these phylum, let us discuss about them. In Porifera, they have pores all over their body which form the canal system which actually helps in their survival. In cylindrates, they have the nidoblasts which are present on the tentacles and help them to catch their prey. Platyhelminths, they have flat body with suckers and hookers which again help them to catch their prey. Nematodes, they are elongated worms, also known as round worms. Annelids, segmented body. Arthropods, jointed legs. Mollusks, external skeleton shell. That is a hard covering which is present on their external skeleton. Echinoderms, water vascular system. Hemichordata, their body parts which, which included proboscis, collar and trunk. So that was a speciality of hemichordata and chordates, needless to say, notochord. So these were some of the special features in the different phyla which we discussed under the kingdom animata. So now that we have reached towards the end of the lesson, it is time that we quit. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.